Okay, hi, and welcome everyone to today's stream, take two. Uh, don't trust machines as always. Today we are going to review the existing portfolio. I'm here with my trusty uh, colleague Ryan. Ryan, say hi to everybody. How's it going, guys? Excited to be here. And we are going to manage uh, a private portfolio, my portfolio. It's just a 20K of gold and, and, and whatnot today. Um, and the point of this stream is mostly just to show you how you can, you know, manage a portfolio, how you could interact with the software, that kind of stuff. This isn't even our software. We're kind of doing this for fun. We might touch into rows and some of the stuff that we do as a company, but really the, the goal of this stream is going to be, we have this portfolio, we run it every month. Uh, how's it doing? How's it going? So as you can tell from this portfolio, uh, let's go into the risk system and look at Delta dollars as a percent of NAV. <clears throat> let's look at all underlines and you know, what is this portfolio? Well, this portfolio is mostly long gold, uh, so for every $20,000 of equity in this portfolio, we have about um, $16,000 of positive gold exposure, $17,000 of positive gold exposure. That changes a lot um, depending on where we are on the, you know, what's called the gold spot curve or the gold curve, meaning that we have a lot of options in here. And some of those options uh, actually are expiring today, expire worthless, 170 under any call spreads, but a bunch of these are further out. They kick in around 180, kick in around 190, they kick in around 190. And, um, you know, that's to kind of preserve what we call this more deeper term upside up here. And so we have some pretty nice payoffs um, from these positions uh, just from, maybe I can click on this and show you guys. Performance profile, um, classic, it needs a little bit of a bigger move, but um, you know, lots of PL that occurs if we kind of go up this curve a little bit and then stay there. Um, this is at about, uh, this is a three to one currently, but some of these are all, uh, a little bit uh, more, you know, juicy in terms of convexity, as we might call it. Um, this one's a six to one, and we're kind of right on the precipice. And so we want to buy, these are called butterflies. We're trying to buy out of the money butterflies and kind of leg into them. If you, if you put them far out, you get a decent amount we call Vega or exposure to vol um, in a positive way, which we kind of want. So this portfolio is going to be mostly long gold, long sum inflation uh, through tips. You can go over here and just close this up for a second. We have a 10% long tip position, a 10% long vol position. The vol position is also an options. Uh, we might hedge some of that delta today, actually. So let's go down here and look at the VIX. And you can see that you know we, we definitely pick up delta as we go up uh, this curve. So we, you know, we get our max delta around 30. We're max long VIX uh, at 30. These are Jan VIX. So it's a little bit spicy. We might actually want to roll these, Ryan. Um, let's look. So this is what we're actually long. Oh, I mean, look at that. Just, just been getting destroyed. So, you know, I think we had a tweet yesterday that we're gonna try to consider you know, when the pivot comes in through three indicators, one is the price of this ETF, which is Chinese real estate bonds above 100 is a pretty good easing sign. That was a pretty good easing sign. Second one was looking at the King Dow price of iron, 62 fines, also above 100. Um, and then looking at the Fed, looking at the pivot. So if you look at bonds, TLT, you're going to see a, a bottom in October, November. If you look at dollar, it's a little bit less clear because, you know, everyone's trying to catch up to the to the U.S., but, you know, the, the, the peak was really in October, November. So we expect there, you know, we're shifting to easing, guys. This is a pivot. This is what pivot feels like. Um, and then against that, we're getting these kind of end of market, end of period, you know, kind of nasty looking price action. But we're going to actually try to... Um, Take some alpha out of, out of this today. It might so, not make sense given given that that shift to easy camel, but we can now put on positions in, in the EZP. Um, ooh, we have those options now. Ooh, okay. Well, that's that's something to think about. We have some RMB and some Hong Kong, but they no longer will report them in the risk system. So don't come to interactive brokers, folks. Uh, so okay. So what do we have here, Ryan? Looks like we have. Most of our VIX is these 25 calls, this two front leg, 25 calls. How much is left in there in terms of premium? Uh, 
it's just another 200 bucks. So 1% of this portfolio is uh, across these two positions. Um, yeah. So do we really want to be long through January or do we want to roll this? Well, January 17th, how many days away is that? I keep it. I'm going to keep it. I think that there's a chance this kind of, this kind of really triggers a couple of people through their, their vol stops and, uh, and we get some, some nice movement in the VIX. I don't know why it's so subdued. End of year, usually it's dead. So, I mean, we could try to sell spot against it. Um, how much exposure do we have? We have, you know, about a thousand. So if we went out and sold one VIX uh, Jan future. Dude, we don't even have enough margin. Okay, amazing. Where are we on margin? So we had, then we have we have thirty two in the SMA, five in the in the. You're saying that to sell this, which I don't even know if I want to sell, would take margin. How much? Wow. So we need another five. Five thousand. This is because we're on Reg T. Welcome to Reg T. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is why we buy call spreads. So let's assume we, we get rid of all this stuff. I mean, maybe we want to sell one of these because it's got, you know, for, for Feb. Ryan, what do you think? Sell one of the, uh, the 25, 30 call spreads. Yeah. I mean, we got two of them. They're only a hundred dollars now, but let's, you know, let's try to be reasonable. I don't know. I, I mean, we could just yo it and, and hold on. I mean, the break even. Yeah. 26. I don't, I don't hate rolling one out a bit further. Um, yeah. And keeping, keeping one on uh, as a, you know, has for. So close to the money, though. I mean, we're right. I think it's a. Uh, yeah. I mean, based on the market action the past two days, uh, it's almost encouraging to, to hold on, but. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't sell both. I would, you know, if anything, sell one and uh, look for some uh, something out in, in February. Right now we have Jan and then March. I want to buy one of these UUP things just to see if it trades. It's grayed out, so I don't know. Maybe it's trading in Europe or whatever. No, we, we got it. We got one. So there it is. Now we're long dollars, 28 dollars of dollars um not a ton of volatility on this options on it would be nice uup 30 calls maybe let's look for march 30 calls 19 cents well, what if we did a call spread options let's go 30 32 Trading tools, with some strategy builder. There's always some crazy trade, build complex position, super complex position. We're just gonna try to buy this stuff. So we're gonna go March, UUP, go get those 30 calls, sell the 32s. So, I mean, it's kind of far away profile here's our profile i try to move it but it's not gonna let me here we go okay so 13 to 1 we're right around here we're spot spot is spots 2830 okay so spots 2830 so it's i mean 30s still kind of far away actually i would do 29s actually so let's do 29 and we could do 2931, 22 delta. Is that going to give me 10 to 1, 5 to 1? Because we got 5 to 1 saying. So we get 5 to 1. The way I think about 5 to 1 is just like how much does the option cost? It costs 30 cents. It yields 2 at max. So you're getting, you know, 2 divided by 0.3 minus 1 or whatever is 5. 
Um, let's do one of those. So get some long dollar optionality in the book. I mean, it's not a great time for this. I think the rest of the world's catching up. But, you know, it's kind of... Here we go. Do, 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 do. 30 bucks. We're in the market. Okay. Trading $6 wide. I mean, yeah, I'll buy this. Maybe buy two of them. Uh, work the order a little bit. So sometimes Ryan does this, sometimes I do it. There's different ways to do it. Try not to get too ripped off by the exchange. Function fill. Order fill. There we go, order fill. So okay, so how does that flow through the portfolio? We'll go over here and look at UUP. It might take a minute to calculate. Right? But no, that's right. There's our equity delta, equity portfolio. It's not a huge position, just if, you know, the dollar goes up 10%, this portfolio will make uh, make a percent, I guess, right? And then that cost us, uh, insert columns, value column, value percent of NLD, right? So that cost us uh, 27 basis points. Uh, and it has the opportunity to give us a percent. So there's our five to one. So, you know, this is how we're trying to make these portfolios. This is to be clear, there's no fast, we're doing really loose risk control. We're not really doing portfolio uh, construction. We're mostly trying to show trading and, you know, how to design some of these positions, less like how to run the perfect, you know, all weather or whatever portfolio. Uh, Ryan, let's look at this book. What do we want to do to it? Where we go we have some we have that in inflation you know 115 tips how are those doing you'd think that they'd be doing better real yields oh i mean far away these are wins so these are june and march i don't know if they want to roll that march right looks pretty far away 115 it looks better here than it does here so we got this one let's take this Bull call. I mean, it's only twenty-eight dollars, so we're just gonna leave it on. This is thirty-seven dollars. Getting in, getting out. It's gonna be too complicated. Um. Okay. Well, let's buy some stocks. Let's buy like you know five percent delta. We don't have delta trade. Five percent delta is gonna be a thousand. So we're gonna buy three of these. We'll use some of our margin. This is more of a just timing trade. Order filled. Order filled. There's our delta. We, we picked up a thousand of delta. Um, okay. Now if we go all the way up, you know, you could say, how does your whole portfolio change based on the market? I don't know. That's a good view. So okay. I mean, this we didn't do a lot today, Ryan. What anything we want to look at? Interesting. Credit Swiss CDS is still at the highs, not at the highs, but okay. Um, Minchang Bank is rallied substantially. You know, even Evergrande bonds. Well, I mean, that's dead, but. Um, I mean, one thing, I don't know if you've seen, but. Tesla stock has just been getting absolutely crushed. Interesting. Uh, all the way down to 150 right now. Down four and a half percent today. There's that bond that's since April. Okay, let's look at Tesla. For me, it just looks so oversold, but well, everyone's freaking out about Twitter right now, right? And he's got to sell some to me. Oh wow. Interesting. Terrible chart. I mean, definitely going to keep going. But, like, what are the 150 puts at? Maybe I can sell some deck uh, 100 puts for a little bit of, you know, a little bit of coin here. Uh, sorry for all the noise, folks. I, that's just New York. We live in, in, a, in a society. Okay. 
Nice. Ten fans for deck thirty. Sorry. Ten fans for December thirtieth. That's but... terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. For a hundred. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing on one thirty. I'm seeing Jan twenty four hundred puts for twelve. I was looking at deck thirty. Yeah. Deck twenty three. They don't even have deck twenty three. All right, let's do a little bit of. We're gonna we're gonna do some of this. Do a little. Uh, my, you have to risk control here. Don't don't do anything too stupid. But let's look at it. Sell some, sell some Tesla puts. Oh boy, maybe short the delta on top of it. Um, what kind of ball are we looking at? So we got a hundred. Let's look for twenty. Change twenty four. Um, here's our hundreds. We can sell them for twelve. Let's see. A high ball is only sixty seven. I mean, it's not actually that great at the sale for downside. Like, if you do HIVG, you can look at the short form implied volatility. I'm sure this thing's moving. Yeah. I mean, it's moving. 50, 60, 70, 50, 60, 70. Um, seems like it would have been a good fall buy, honestly. I mean, it's it's not necessarily cheap, but... Uh, back here in September, for sure. Uh, okay, I don't know. If I sell one of these, you know, let's say I sell this then, it's my calf profile. This is called bond investing, everybody. You get this kind of calf profile. I'll show you in a sec. Here we go. Negative convexity. So yeah, we can make 16% in a year by lending Elon money. What do you think, Ryan? And our break even is 88. So this has to go to 88. For us to lose money. For us to lose money. I mean, it's not that far away. It's another... Uh, it's 50%. I mean... Am I okay getting stuck with, with Elon at 80? Yeah, I'll do a little bit of this. How much delta does it give me? Um, delta gives me $100 of delta. No, I don't know if it's like that. Instrument rates. I mean, so we can lose 5000 bucks if this thing goes under. And we can make... This doesn't... We can make 1000 So this is a big trade, even if we were to do one of them for this book. Uh, but, you know, we can make 5% and we could lose... You know... Lose 50%. What do you think, Ryan? Oh, yeah, I mean, a lot of downside risk for something that is just so volatile. Uh, We're here, yeah, 150. For po portfolio that's, um, you know, a protection portfolio, definitely a, a riskier bet, maybe a little bit outside the. Well, okay, let's 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 do something kind of fun with this now. Let's try to play Vega against against. Uh, Vega versus versus Gamma. So what's what's short term looking like? Is I'm is it bid or is it is it crush? It looks like short term is uh, totally bid there, but sixties applied ball sixties. Let's do ball surface OBDB. Why don't we buy some puts short term and then sell the puts long term? You know what I mean? Like. Uh, so we, we're trying to get like this part right here, but the problem is when you go far enough out, you lose a lot of that premium. So we're really only selling it at 80 as opposed to, okay, well, let's look at the actual put. So we can actually look at the implied ball put itself. Uh, if we do Tesla 100, uh, 117, yeah, 24. Didn't like that. It 
it's maybe it's just the wrong date. Yeah. Okay, it's 1924. Okay. One, 19, 24, 100 foot. So let's look at this thing. It's probably up a bunch. Oof. Yeah. And let's look at it in terms of implied. So let's. Uh, yeah, so okay, this is a classic case of as the spot price falls, the implied volatility of the put falls because it becomes less of a tail in a weird way. That, that convexity you're giving up becomes more of a thing. So a couple of months ago, this was a 75 put. But a couple of months ago, it was a 75 put. But um, it was a 75 put with with, uh, with no delta, right? So it was down here. I don't know. So we could sell this for 12, and then let's say I just buy, like, you know, something more reasonable up front. Like, let's go Jan 23, and how much do these cost? They're only a dollar. I mean, I could, I could potentially flatten out our delta you know, right here. It's, it's, it's a calendar spread for sure. But here, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, all these buttons. Oh, click, 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 click. Okay, this is the funky, the funky position. Um, kind of funny. I don't know why it would look like that. I think they're just having problems, but that's if it hit, if it hit today. So if it happens in you know however long, I don't know. Let's try that. That's fun. Maybe I'll get carried out on it, but I don't think so. It's trading at 10, <laughs> 10 wide. Okay. Um, I don't think we want to do it as a package. Actually, I think we just want to do it individually. So I'm going to sell this one. Oh boy, I really, Elon, don't let me down here. Okay, we're gonna sell this one. It's gonna give me some margin. Okay. Check your trader so you didn't mess it up. Sell at 12 8, and now we're going to go back over here and try to buy the put. Buy this put we had before, or this 110, right? And you have 115, right? 115. Uh, I want the. Uh, I mean, it's, it, we're, we're being kind of stupid because we're buying ball. It's too much. You know, we're buying, yeah. we're selling yeah, ball at 65, people. and we're buying, we got to go fast, or what? Sorry, Sorry. Jeff. Jen. Yeah. I think March makes more sense. Though. I know, but March is expensive. If they're up to, you know, that's almost the value of the thing that we bought. I'm going to do these little ones. I'm just going to cover the next the next little disaster. Okay, so we're gonna buy this 115. What spot? 150? The one. Um, all right. What's our delta? Once we get it on. All right, let me try to work this a little bit. What's like Google's ball surface? Maybe we want to do tech instead of, you know? Something like yeah. ball? Well, it just depends on the price, right? We're going fast because we don't have, this is not our profession anymore. But um, I mean, 40s, 50s, you're talking 
you can sell Google at 50 ball if it's trading at. Thirty ball. I mean, yeah. What about XLF? XL K. Self correlation. I mean, it looks like shit. So let's say we sold some one ten O B D B. Forty five. Oh, there we go. See, people are buying this stuff. So Jan 50s, 43, what's the real life? Realize it's 30. Okay, well, fuck that. We're not going to do this. Take that deal. Hold a pencil. Let's do it again. So, we're going to go long tech options. We're going to. Same kind of trade, Jan 24. Spot is at 120. Let's sell some one. Ugh. Brutal, man. It's my ball. Let's see, Colin Greeks. Ball mid. Thirty-five. I just don't know if I like selling this at thirty-five either. I'd sell it at forty. Yeah. But look at that bid offer. Oh. So yeah, I'd sell it at one sixty, but I don't want to sell at eighty cents. I don't know, man. I don't know. Gold. It looks good. I just think I probably should have rolled this 170s. That was a mistake. It probably cost me a percent or two. Bad outcome. Um, I say we leave it. And then this isn't that most exciting of a stream, but you know, sometimes the best trade is no trade. Uh, <laughs> And nice. let's let's see what Tesla does. Let's mark this to market in our head. We tried to sell the Tesla one. What was it? The one hundred puts. The one year one hundred puts. I mean, it's not. A, I like that. But if you're gonna sell puts, you know, you really Tesla could go to fifty real quick. Because there's no. What's the P? Don't sell vol on things that are under P. That's a. So old lesson. It's only 30. 36 now. Estimate 46. I mean, I would buy it at 20. So we're going to watch this. We're going to monitor it. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. This is probably the day we'll do it. I don't know, Ryan. What do you think? Should we do it? Buy the Make it of it um, so that we can at least come back on the price if we don't and see, do some sort of mark to market. Can you, I mean, like the, the um, target expired is so far out, like we could, you know, say the stock dropped another 10% over the next two weeks, put it on later. Yeah, but then we will lose the that front, that front end. We, I mean, yeah, if it goes down more, obviously. I, I mean, the, the real question is we could just hedge it. We could just, I mean, this is where we probably don't can't because we don't have red tea. But, you know, if you like selling it at 60 ball, the way to get that is to actually sell the put and then buy the shares. Sorry, sell yeah. the shares against it and then hedge the equity ball out um, and bet that it's going to be less than 60. Um, that's probably what I really want to do here. But I was going to try to do it cheaply with calls with calls because it's cheaper. Um, let's let's put it out to Twitter and see what people think. Maybe maybe someone will yell at me to do it and then we can. It'll be fun. But, I, you know, I don't want to take 50% of the portfolio risk just because of good vibes or whatever. Um, Agreed. Deserves more thinking. So, uh, anyway, that's our stream for today. Sorry, Ryan. Usually it's a lot more participatory. Usually we're actually trading and looking stuff up. Today was more of a review. Thoughts from you. What, what, what are you thinking going to the end of the year, Ryan? Um, 
I'm not I, like I'm definitely not bullish, especially especially after the the past two days um, post you know Fed announcement and uh, and CPI from last week. Um, it's definitely looking like we're we're going lower here, um, and it's going to be very choppy for for a while. Um, I don't see clear waters anytime soon. Well, that's the view from the markets desk, folks. This portfolio should do okay in that. Um, you know, we have a little bit of S&P that we put on today as a test trade just to hold ourselves accountable to being a little bit more long because we had those, you know, systems around the property companies in iron and China's easing. And, and yeah, I think that, you know, this is really one of those moments where um, market pricing looks pretty good. You know, the Fed's going to hike until they crush inflation in the economy and then they're going to ease and so you get this weird kink in the curve um, not a lot of places to bet on in terms of bonds uh, if we do you know, IYC they never like this they like curve finder now but um, and if we just do you know I don't like SOFR but what's it a SOFR you know, this is a weird curve okay saying it's going to go up, 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 up. We get another 50 basis points and then done. And then almost immediately ease, ease, ease. Meaning that if, if any of this part of the curve has to come up, these, I mean, well, bonds, maybe we sell bonds, dude. Sell bonds on China, inflation, oil. How's the oil doing? And the energy is getting crushed today, too. Yeah, everything's down. I mean, that's it's very deflation, very end of cycle. Like maybe it's everyone's just catching up and we're ahead because of the mortgage rate thing. Well, looks down. I mean, I don't know. It's, how about those bonds? Maybe buy some bits. I mean, they already got crushed so much. But let's just quick look. This is a bullish trade. Uh, Say you sell, buy some 110, 105 puts for June. 110, 105. Oof. June. Okay, maybe it's July. That's when the open interest rates. No, nope. June. Okay, what do you say? 105, 110 puts? One, it's not really that good. Implied ball is 21. What's the implied ball right now? The bonds. Get rid of this thing. Twenty. Realizing more than twenty. Interesting, but um, okay. Well, let's price it. TLT options. Uh, March. Uh, what are we at now? One. Yeah. So let's do 105. Build complex position. Open another window. Uh, 105. 100. They don't even sell them. One hundo. Here we go. Profile. Always going to be on one's buttons. Okay. Mm. So we're here. I kind of wanted to be a little further out. So let's go a little bit further out. Um, let's do one hundred three. 13 delta, we're talking 5 to 1, where's the 103, where's the 103, when we were at 103, pretty recently, right? Totally doable, totally doable, okay, let's do this, put a little on, put a little on, just for the kids at home, don't forget to put in the price count. It didn't get quite down to 103, it was like right above 104 uh, back in October. 
That's okay. Look, if, if they if in the next three months we get any type of oil, this that trade's a winner. It's bang on winner. It's it's not the best convexity, right? I'm gonna work this a little bit so we can get out of here. Don't get two ribs off. Okay, good. So we have now a thousand dollars of short treasuries. Uh, 5%. So we're long 5% stocks, we're short 5% treasuries, we're long 5% tips, and we're long 80% gold. Great. Uh, Sounds, gold, <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the old portfolio. All right. Amazing. So we did something today. We got some positions on. Ryan, thank you for your patience. Uh, we're going to do other streams where you're driving and in control. I just, you know, just try to catch everyone up to what's going on. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for having me.